Hello everyone, welcome back. Professor Piyush here. Welcome to this lesson. So previously, uh, we have learned few examples of buildings. You know, we developed uh, in detail the linking pavilion and uh, the twisted museum, also known as Sestafos. We learned uh, many tips and tricks on how to model those, you know, complex geometries. But uh, we shouldn't for forget that, you know, we can learn uh, modeling through smaller examples as well. So here now I will be you know sharing with you certain you know small product design examples starting with screwdriver today which is a very common tool. In this if you see I will be you know detailing you about how can we use a revolve command to get this kind of section and how can we create grooves like this using uh, boolean operations adding and subtracting from the geometry. Those kind of things we will do and also uh, I will be using certain reference images which already I have shared uh, in this video description. You can uh, download and you can start practicing using the help of this video. Let us start from the scratch and uh, let me explain you step by step what are the methods and what commands I am going to use and how can we achieve this in the end. Next uh, I will import the side view in the right hand side view port but before that once one small step which you should follow and make it as a habit start putting the elements in the layers let's say this is, these are the reference images which I, I am going to use so for that i will create a separate layer reference images right uh, you can see already i have created previous layer because the model is already there so i won't be using these layers i will show you with the fresh layers so i will select this image first and i will right click the layer and i will change object layer you can lock this so that whatever things you do here has nothing to you know it doesn't affect this particular image and whenever you want you can off this you know when you don't want the reference images and you want to see the model you can use this layer it will help so for now uh, this point is not required you can delete this so now i will import this uh, front view actually the, the side view the front view of this screwdriver so for that I need to go into the front viewport first. You can uh, double click and maximize it also if you want and then follow the same. Go to the surface tool or in the standard also you can go to the surface creation toolbox. From here you can find picture plane or from the surface tool tab you can directly find the picture plane here. Click it, select the front view, double click. Now as I said before to start from the origin just type 0 it will automatically snap it to the origin left click and start dragging now if, if you go double click and go back to the four viewport you will see uh, in the front view basically you will see in the perspective how much you want to scale this we will scale it uh, precisely also later but just you know it shouldn't go too much away so i am using this as a reference and then go to the standard zoom extend right mouse click it will zoom the whole thing to all the viewports now let's double click and increase the front view and bring it in the front for this view also i will do the same i will uh, decrease the transparency selecting the image going to the properties in the material transparency section make it around 40 45 percent as we did for the top view now you see this point the center of this tip should be matching with the origin as we did in the top view the tip was going into the origin we will follow the same for this as well but before that we need to scale in the same way as we did the top view so again the polyline command right starting from this point right 94.3 right click you will see it is giving me the distance automatically hold the shift key and press enter and you are done now select this image, scale 2D, give it a base point, give it the first reference point which will be this and the second reference point will be this. Let us see in the perspective, yes, almost similar. And now you will see I will move this from this center tip, I will move it to the origin so it will fit right in. Let us go back to the front view. Again, same way, let us bring it to zoom extent. I will use the single point and 
I will all by just by you know lump sum eyeballing it, I will put it at the center here and select the image, select the point, use the move command, move from the point. Let me repeat move command, move from the point, type 0 and press enter. You can see now it is automatically in the origin. You can delete this point now, you don't need it. Fine. Now let's see what's happened in the perspective. Nice, right? This is what we wanted. It's perfectly aligned. Now these images will, will help us in, you know, will guide us in creating a profile. We, you don't need to match it exactly as it is, but this will give you a, a right guidance to, you know, create the profile of the screwdriver. Same way, uh, let's bring another view. Okay. So surface tools, picture plane. This time, left view, the backside view of the screwdriver. So, this I will import in the right hand side view. So, again, picture plane, double click, type 0 and start. You can see now in perspective, it is coming right. This is what we wanted. Just increase the size. This center, you can see right away, this center, center of this view should be at the origin itself. Then you can move it back. This dimensions we can set it randomly, but once you you know you do the profiling of this, you can increase or decrease the scale of this image. I will tell you how. Let's uh, bring this. Let's go to the front view. Sorry, right view, and uh, again go to the standard. And by default, you know, randomly just by eyeballing it, just set the point at almost the center of this circle, somewhere here, right, and select the image select the point move from the point zero right click now you see it is at the origin right again we will uh, decrease the transparency select the image properties materials 40 45 percent drag the slider you can delete the point now now let's see how it is coming in the perspective perfect what you can do just for your reference, you can drag this back till here. You can see the scale is too big. It's okay. Later on, we will, uh, when we will create the profile, I will tell you how to scale it down. Or now only you can just select the image, use this, uh, you know, this uh, square box from the green view or red or blue. It doesn't matter. Currently, both will work. Just make sure you hold down the shift key while you are doing it, right? And start dragging. Now you need to match the radius or the diameter with the plan almost. You can see it should the edge should hit here. Right? And it is going off center, it's okay. Let's take this and we will uh, set it later. Let's go to the front view now, right? From the front view, I will make this profile first. The profile of this screwdriver handle. Let's let's do this. As you saw in the previous exercises, uh, we used adjustable curve command to, you know, merge different straight lines and curves wherever those things are coming, blend the curve actually. We are going to use the same technique here. Let's start with the center. First of all, I will use the, I will make all the straight lines required in this, right? So, let starting from this point, I will just extend it from the center line. Later on, I will trim it from this line, hold the shift key make it till here then right click get out of it right again left right mouse button to go back to the polyline automatically it will bring you the last command make this straight line right again left uh, right mouse button right mouse button make this straight line hold shift right then again right mouse button bring the command back now we'll cover this straight line somewhere till here Almost all the lines are done. Let's finish this one also. Again, right mouse button, start from this side, somewhere till here. Right? Now it's time to merge, thing, merge these straight lines. First thing, uh, I will use the control point curve command. We have used that in previous exercises also. What it does, it, it gives you curves with control points at different, you know, wherever you hit the point. Let, let me show you. By using this, I will, I want to create a profile, something like this, which you can see here in the image. 
So I will start from this endpoint, then I will give this endpoint, this endpoint, point, and in the end I will join here. Now these edges also uh, I will show you how to define these edges. But uh, first let's you know blend all these curves. So for that I will use curve tool set. Let me open it so that you know you can have eye on this permanently. There is a fifth tool if you are using IO6 or you can find as adjustable curve blend. Click it, it will ask to select the curves. So curve one and curve two, you can see it is automatically you know giving you the blended curve. But yes, you have a handle by which you can you know do some changes if you want, or if you are satisfied, you can just click OK. I in this case tangency is required. So if you let's say let's see what happens if I go curvature, you can see the profile is changing a bit. But I want it to be tangent with those straight lines. So I'll keep it like this. You can hit join checkbox so that these curves are automatically joined with this, these lines, or after editing, you can join all the curves all together. So I will do that later. Click OK. This is done. Now this profile is remaining. So let me again take the control point curve and start from this side. Right? Just following the profile. You don't need to be exactly matching. Later on, you will have the option to you know adjust as we did in the previous exercise as well. Just finish it, just finish it somewhere here. Perfect. Now let's blend these two curves as well using the same adjustable curve blend. Curve 1, curve 2. This coming fine. I will leave it as it is. Go to the next point. Adjustable curve blend. Curve 1, curve 2. This also I will keep it as it is. Right. Then the end point. You will see we have these two curves 1 and 2. So again I will use this curve blend command curve 1 and curve 2 perfect right but this is going little out so uh, definitely we have a handle by which i can control these you can see perfectly it is you know blending the edges and i will click okay we are done with this now i need to trim these lines for that i need to make an excess line first so in perspective or from that view also you can make that let's take the polyline command command and type a zero it will start the line from the origin left click just hold the shift key on the red axis and make the axis line right you want to trim these extra lines let's go to the front view and see yes so i will use the trim command this is my cutting object as it, it is asking me to select that cutting object curve right click and delete or trim the curve. Same way on other side, I going to trim that curve. Get out of the command. Now you see in the perspective, this is perfectly aligned. This is what you wanted actually. To make it more clear, let me show you. I will go to the layers and I will off this. Okay, other images are not in the reference image, so I will select them and put them there as well. Right click, change object layer. You can hide this for now. Now, this is the profile and this is the axis of this profile. So, all is set up to use a beautiful command which is revolve. I will cut this out and go to surface creation tool set. I will bring it here. In this, you will see there is a revolve command. So, there are two revolve and rail revolve. Currently, we will be using revolve. So, I will use left click to do that. Select curves to revolve. As you, you know, we did different curves, so we forgot to join. So I will get out of the command first and select the whole curve set and use the join command to join it. Then again, I will go to the revolve, select curves to revolve, select the selected the curves, then right mouse button. It is asking me to start off, it is asking me the start of revolve axis from where it is starting. So either you can give from zero till here or you can use this point as well it doesn't matter because the axis is same so this is my start and this is my end right now you can see the profile is revolving now make sure you check different options which is giving you before you know completing the task so uh, do you want to delete the input no i don't want to delete the original curve so i will keep it as no and rest of the things will keep as it is 
I want it to be full circle, yes. So I will click it and you will see magically it will give me the base profile of the screw handle. So straight away I will create another layer of screw handle one and I will put this in that layer. Now uh, let's cut this off and bring those images back and go to the front view, sorry, right view and see how the circle is coming. You can see the swipe is like this and but this image is too huge, right? So I need to scale it down. I will unlock this reference images layer and I will select this layer and I will, you know, scale this down. It is going off center, but it's okay. Later on, I will, I can adjust the center. You can further scale it down. It's going too big. Okay. Now this is almost uh, perfect. Let's go to the perspective and see. Yes, it's coming fine. Next, what we want, I want this screw head, right, which will pass through the screwdriver, that screw head. So I will create a circle for that or you can also create a circle here at the zero point also, that's not a problem. So for uh, to start making a circle on any curve, perpendicular to any curve, normal to any curve, just go to the circle tool, right, you will find uh, this option which says circle around curve, right? Uh, as we have already derived the axis with the line, so this will help us. Take this command, select the curve on which you want to make this circle normal to. So I will select this axis, right? You can type 0 or you can take the end point and start making the circle. You can see it is giving me this, those circle. If you go to right view, you can match this radius diameter sorry just for a reference but it will make the circle at that point only good right now you can extrude this this curve this is a curve you can type extrude curve straight away it will ask you the extrusion distance randomly you will just just go to the front view and see just pierce it little inside it it can go Till here also but it's okay you can keep it inside like this and perspective you will see this is good nice right next step is to create punctures as we saw in the image in the first beginning of the video the punctures you need to create it here or or uh, you need to remove that particular portion subtract it from this full solid so for that again i will go to the right hand side view you will you, you can see here these are the things which I need to remove from that solid, this full solid. I need to trim it or I can totally remove it as a solid. So for that, I will make some reference circle, actually one circle and then I will, uh, you know, copy it on all of the, uh, these punctures. So you can use simple circles with center radius, just, this is not accurate, just for the reference, you can make it like this and then select it and try fitting it with that, you know, matching it with that the, the punctured circle. You can use this red box, hold the shift key and increase the scale also of the circle, the size and you know keep on matching it till you get the perfect circle. You know somehow matches the profile, you don't need to be exactly, this is just a conceptual idea, almost we are there. Right, so this is okay for me. I will select this circle and another tool which is a new one, the array command, we haven't covered much about this in the previous exercises. This has different set of ways how, how you want to copy your object in the model. Let's say you want to copy in a rectangular way. You can repeat that particular object in a grid. And currently we want this circle to be rotated in a radial manner. So for that we will use polar array. I will select this. As already I have I was selecting the circle. So it, it is straight away asking the center. Let me show you from the start. Let's deselect this. Go to the polar array, select objects to array. This is the object. Press enter or right mouse button. Center, yes, you can give this as a center, right? And then number of items, you can count. There are six items around this. So I will type six and then space bar. Uh, angle, yes, I want to fill total all 360 degree angle. So I want to see the preview also before it finalizes. So I will keep this as it is and right mouse button. You can see this is moving around 
on all these circles and matching it looks perfect so i will right click again and finalize it when you go to the perspective you will see these circles are placed here no problem you can select all of these circles let me first log the reference images so that i don't select that i will select the circles only good you don't want to select this curve so use control to deselect from the selection again extrude curve command space bar you can see i can extrude it through and through you want just little bit outside that screwdriver handle place it here for now i will off the reference images and see what actually happening here this is the good part let me cut this off another tool which is helpful in these kind of situations is solid tools in which you will find boolean operations first one is union with where you want to you know if you want to join these and create one particular solid you can use this this actually works only with solids so make sure you know you uh, select this object and go to the properties and see if it is a closed solid poly surface or not then only it will work same with this this is also a closed extrusion of a solid so i will uh, use solid uh, sorry boolean difference here it it will ask me to select surface or poly surface to subtract from so i want to subtract all these you know circles from this so i will select this first then i will right click then it will ask me to select the surfaces to subtract with so i will subtract these from these so i will select all of them right and then right click and you can see they are they have taken out that surface and we will get a good screw handle piercing this isn't it good handle is done now let's work on the screw head a little bit you don't need curves so if you want to select all the curves currently which we have done you can create a layer of base curves or a layer is already there so i will name it base curves 1 i will use the middle mouse button because i have already created a set of you know fast uh, what do you say a uh, faster finger kind of tools you know it is very handy because these are tools which i use often you can also do that just click your middle mouse button it will pop up a set of tools by default maybe yours will be different because you know i have customized customized this one to customize this click it it will become a pop up window like this let's say you want to add something or some command into it like let's say i want to add a surface creation one of the surface creation toolbar which is very common surface from planar curves so i will the moment your mouse is there just hit the control key right or bring your toolbar here and then hit the control key you will see it is it will show me the cop to copy the link i will click and i will drag and i will put it in this now you can see it is inside as it went out of the space so it created an arrow you can drag this make it little bigger something like this so that all fit in right then you can delete this you can delete this now if you click middle mouse button again you will see that icon is already there this one surface from planar curves right that way you can speed up your work it becomes handy i was i was talking about selecting the curves itself so either you can go to the standard tab and you go to the select tool set there you will find different ways to select any object one of them is selecting the curves so what i have done i have used that in my middle mouse button straight away and i will select all the curves which i created earlier till now i will put them all in the base curves layer right click change object layer and i will hide them for now and i will delete delete this and let's open the reference images again because i need to you know create the cut you see here this cut i want to create this cut in this screw head it's okay if your uh, diameter of screw head is not matching with the image is fine just it's just a basic understanding you know to do this exercise now i need to create a surface by which i can trim this particular surface so for for that you can use boolean operation also but i will show you another way to you know chop off this particular area so for that i will use the line command right in this you will find a line from midpoint the third one here in my case so you can disable this so that it doesn't disturb or take any other point just 
you know by lump sum just get in the mid of that particular face and create a line like this you can mirror this just to create exact replica for that you need to enable the snap it's actually taken the quad so what i will do i will go to the perspective and i will actually select this and mirror using the zero point right and then go to the top view and mirror it yes now it's fine let me off the images again and let me show you what actually this will do this is a very good thing so i will select this again let me delete this again i will go to extrude curve this time i am extruding a line to create a cutting plane right so it is going upward only i can change this if i go up i will change it to both sides from no to yes just do a left click it will change now you can see it is going both ways this this much is enough i just need a cutting plane so i i told you you can use boolean operation also let me show you boolean difference surface or poly surface to subtract from from this i am going to subtract right click subtract this right and then right click again you will see it will give you a chopped surface another way is by using the trim command so uh, how does it work trim cutting plane this is my cutting object here i will select the cutting object first right and then right click and this is the object which i want to trim right so i will click this edge you will see it will give me a chop off surface like this same way i will i can mirror this cutting plane instead of extruding this line uh, let me delete this i can just mirror this plane right zero hold shift key and mirror this so you don't no, don't need this plane just follow the same process trim command cutting plane right click and chop off from this edge right click again delete this surface but the difference here is you you will be getting a void it's okay no problem you can just select this go to the curve from object tool here you will find a good uh, tool which is duplicate edge so this whole tool set works with any object right where, where you only want you know want to extract the curves from them or you want to explode the curves from them or you want to project the curves on that particular object so to do all those kind of activities this whole tool set comes in very handy like currently i want to extract these edges only from this whole solid right otherwise i have to make these edges on top of it then create a surface out of it so this is the easy way duplicate edge it will ask straight away ask me to you know select edges to duplicate i will select this and hold shift and add this right you can select both the edges at same time hold shift select this select this select this and right click you can see it has you know extracted those curves all the time now this this is separate these curves are extracted now another thing is again from the surface creation as i showed you the faster way to bring this just middle click click your mouse button and use surface from planar curves you have these curves right hold shift curve right click same way again bring the command back select the curves hold shift curve hold shift curve right click good right so almost your screwdriver is ready select the whole thing now there is another uh, way to zoom in you can use instead of zoom extend you can use zoom selected so if you do that it will bring the selected object in the front you can use the right mouse button here also to do the same for all the viewports like this good right now tips little bit of tips i will give you about some materials in this right again middle mouse button let me select all the curves whichever we did currently here and put them in the base curve layer it will automatically hide this was hidden reference images are only hidden this what we created i will uh, select this surface this surface this surface and join all of it right and make this as another layer which is screw head so i'll create another layer 
screw head one and uh, put it in that good right now i will give you some tips about rendering let's say i want to make this handle a little glossy of different color give it some metal finish to this screw head so let me just briefly you know touch some rendering settings in rhino the default rhino rendering settings okay if i go to the rendering from here rendered view you can right click here also or you can click the arrow also both way it will bring you the list like this so right click you can go to rendered right it will give you some default color rendering because why because the material if you see in the layer palette the material which we have given is nothing it's by default white material right which is rhino default so what i will do is i will uh, let's say i want to give this something a greenish or a reddish effect or a green glossy earlier you saw the red glossy let me try a green glossy now so this is my screw handle i will go to the material okay and uh, by default it is showing me the default material what you can do is you can add a custom material and name that material as green glossy okay now there are some custom settings first of all i want to change the color of this which is white i will make it a little let's say greenish something like this or like this this is okay and then i want to give it a glossy finish so i will you know try to maximize it or near it to 90 85 90 almost more than 90 also will work i don't want any reflectivity if you want to add certain reflectivity you can do that or if you want to add certain transparency also is fine because you know some translucent material also will do in the screw handle so i will just keep it 10 percent little bit of reflectivity right seven to eight percent let's say that's about it and uh, you click ok you will see the material taking shape so if you you have added transparency you, now you can see the screw head also inside but if you don't want to see you can go back to that material go to the custom setting and let's decrease the transparency now you can see you can increase the reflectivity and you can see the change in the material live here this is the good part if you want to decrease the glossiness a little bit you can do that right next let's come to the metal head or uh, screw head so this is my screw head i will go to that layer i will go to the material there is already a default metal material i will just you know use it just for you to for you to see the demonstration you can govern you know how you can see a small preview here at the top from where you can govern what kind of metal uh, surface you want let's say i keep it as it is default and i click ok you will see it is you know totally like a mirror so somehow if you don't want it you can just you know go back and uh, you can decrease the polish finish let's say a little towards rough something like this you can see how it is changing here it's just to you know just to give you a feel of metal uh, you can import metal materials and put it inside uh, that i will cover in some later videos click ok to that if you want to you know detail this out with some lights and all that also we can do currently i will just you know show you how light, sunlight settings is you know working on this let's say i off this sunlight you can see only skylights how does it affect if i on the sunlight and increase the intensity to one you can see it changes right so let's say i keep it 2.75 somehow uh, whichever you, you need to play with this a lot if you do, if you remove the skylight it totally changes so you need to be on a balance settings right in the sun settings we will cover uh, in detail in some of the videos just i will show you the options you can see sun option uh, sun positions where you have north angle and all you can set that also that is actually for uh, some building models currently you just need to be in the studio environment so this is okay so this is about it i hope uh, you will take the images reference images from the video and start practicing by yourself um, and you know these small small uh, objects makes you understand bigger problems you know when you go with a complex modeling or a detailed modeling so i am you know breaking it down for you guys so that you can step wise you know slowly slowly indulge all these things 
and later on you can you know create some big complex buildings or big complex detail models for product design models anything out of it so keep practicing guys i will see you again with another very good example we'll practice together bye bye thank you